Alright, today I'm going to be painting another Marilyn Monroe. Uh, I had started another one which uh, I like so much that I wanted to do another one here for the um, upcoming gallery show. Uh, but wanted to uh, take a spin at pre-mixing some flesh tones. So as you see here in my palette, what I've done here is I've arranged my colors the way that I normally like them. I have white. Um, this is a uh, silver white. Um, and then my paint gray as it's not really black. I hardly use it ever really just to kind of dull down the colors. I have a range of browns in here, burnt sienna, transparent orange oxide, uh, raw sienna, yellow ochre. This is a uh, Van Dyke brown burnt umber and then raw sienna which is one of my absolute favorite colors. I couldn't do without it. Um, on this side I actually have a Bob Ross. It's called a Mountain Mixture. Um, it's most similar to a, um, a, a Holbein uh, Indigo. Uh, if you've ever used uh, Holbein colors before, they're really rich and vibrant. But this is a very kind of bluish green, uh, nice dark there. And then I usually keep a, uh, a Prussian blue, then phthalo blue, French ultramarine, um, the permanent violet. This is Rose Matter. I just picked this one up um, actually after a, uh, a recommendation by another artist um, that I watch frequently, Happy B. Um, a little shout out, thank you for introducing me to this color. Um, Alizarin Crimson, Cad Red. I use Sap Green a lot, and uh, this is a new green that I got. I can't remember which one it is, um, but uh, give that one a shot too. And then of course I have my uh, Cad Yellow and uh, Indian Yellow Burnt Sienna. These are the colors that I mix um, primarily with on my palette. Um, I don't always like to have a limited palette because sometimes if I can use colors that are at their most vibrant without mixing them, uh, I'd like to do that. They have a little bit more richness to them. But um, for this one, um, I pre mix some skin tones from my uh, darkest dark to kind of almost where the highlights where I'll start mixing in white to this color. Uh, to get the very light light. So I just did four kind of mid-range values um, differing in color. You'll see the um, the, uh, the dark color is uh, more red uh, and has some cooler tones to it. I used some major crimson and blue in there as well. Um, and then the mid-tones start to warm up a little bit leaning towards the reds and then the lights uh, leaning a little bit more towards the yellow ochre um, kind of category. So, this is my palette for this painting. Enjoy.